Hello everyone, I'm sure many of you have a co-worker or classmate or colleague that observes the month of Ramadan or the holiday of Eid al-Fitr that just passed a few weeks ago. And I'm sure many of you are curious as to why Muslims celebrate this month, why it's so important to them, and what you can expect from your colleagues and co-workers. So I wanted to create a brief video with an overview of what Ramadan is and why it's important to Muslims and what you can expect. And I hope you appreciate this video. So let's get started. So Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. The Islamic calendar is run by the moon. It's a lunar calendar as opposed to the Gregorian solar calendar. Why is the month of Ramadan so important and why is it so significant? The month of Ramadan, Muslims believe that this was the month in which the Holy Quran was sent down to humankind as guidance. And so because of that, there are very special and unique rituals that Muslims perform during this month that they do not perform in any other month. So you might be wondering, what are these rituals that Muslims perform? The most common one is fasting. Muslims refrain from food and drink from sunrise to sunset. For me in Ohio, that translates to about 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And during this fast, not only are you to refrain from food and drink, you're also to refrain from sexual relations. You're also to refrain yourself from losing your temper. And you're also encouraged to give more charity. Now, one might wonder, what are the benefits of doing this? Well, I think there are many benefits and a few come to mind. For example, I believe that in the month of Ramadan, you gain discipline. You create a very strong mind. And I think this is very important, not only during the month of Ramadan, but outside of it. Because discipline, if you can control your mind, you can control anything and you will accomplish whatever you set your mind to, in my opinion. Because I think one of the biggest skills that people lack is consistency and discipline. It's also a good time to work on yourself. Perhaps there are some spiritual goals that you want to meet. And maybe even some physical goals, like you want to lose weight. This is a time where everyone has a spiritual high, everyone is working together, they're motivated, and you have a nice strong network, and it helps you reach your goals. Now, of course, scientists also say that fasting has many physical benefits. It boosts cognitive performance, it supports weight loss, and it also reduces inflammation and many, many other benefits. But for me personally, another big benefit of Ramadan, of fasting during the month of Ramadan, is the fact of feeling empathy for others. What do I mean by this? Well, in the month of Ramadan, you fast from sunrise to sunset. And then, you know, you get together with your family or your community and you break bread together. You have a big meal together. It's a mini celebration. But then this is also a time where you realize that there are many people around the world to this day that fast without having the choice to do so. They don't have food and water. They don't know when their next meal is going to be and they fast without a choice and fasting for me personally it allows me that when i feel that hunger it allows me to be thankful for the blessings that i have knowing that yeah i'm hungry for a little bit but i'm going to eat today anyways so what can you expect from muslim co-workers and colleagues and classmates during this time well for one they're more tired throughout the day and you might be surprised to know that it's not because of the lack of food or water your body gets used to that pretty quickly. It's actually the lack of sleep. The sleep pattern is so different during this month. You Muslims tend to sleep very late, wake up early. They have to nap throughout the day for um, whenever they get a chance to. A lot of times, me personally, I'll take a nap during the weekend, catch up on sleep. <clears throat> you might notice that your Muslim co-workers work from home a lot more. They might take more breaks throughout the day just because Muslims pray five times a day. During this month, they might pray a little bit extra. Um, of course, you might notice that your co-workers are not attending team gatherings outside of work or social events. And it makes sense. They can't, you know, many times you can't eat or drink anyways. You're already tired. There are other priorities. You'd rather spend that time praying and fasting and reading the Quran, etc. Now... You might notice that Muslims take the last 10 days of the month of the month of Ramadan off. And this is because uh, Ramadan is a marathon 
and during the last 10 days, you're, you're encouraged to kick it up a notch. So Muslims might take the time, time off from work so they can focus more on rituals, on praying, on doing good deeds. And then, of course, the holiday of Eid, which marks the end of Ramadan. It's a huge celebration for Muslims, similar to Christmas for Christians. And you'll notice that your co-workers take the day of Eid off. This is a time where they celebrate, they eat food, they meet family and friends. And just celebrate. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you've learned a lot about Ramadan. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.